That's right, though. Little Dirt Jeremiah, like me. Now, I told you she was going to be on the line. Everybody don't know her just as. Because before, they used to just know her as the singing chick from the Tyler Perry plays. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to be non-political correctly and say the crackhead from House of Pain, Janine. Like, she more than that right now. She on her grown woman music. Demetra McKinney, what's going on with you? Hey, boo, how you been? Hey, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with you, working. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? How does it feel not just being the chick that's singing in the Tyler Perry um, movies and plays? It feels so liberating. I mean, there's nothing like people knowing your work. It's been great to be Janine and being in the plays and, and doing all that I've been able to do. But being able to have my own voice, my grown woman moment of my own, there's nothing like it. Yes, I mean, you definitely do your thing. Now, so real quick, last time you was on the show, you debuted the 100 with you and the brat. Okay. Yep. And since then, we didn't see you on Real Housewives of Atlanta. We didn't see you in the Ricky Smiley show. Like you've been all over the place. Catch everybody up if they've been lost. What oh, you been, yo, what's been going there's on been with so you? So much going on. Um, from the Ricky Smiley show, I played his wife Monica, his ex-wife. I'm always the ex. Hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Real Housewives. Yo, I was a friend of the cast. Um, I got an opportunity to kind of see how that thing went from the beginning to the end and just getting to know some of the ladies, getting to know who I liked, what I liked and all of that stuff was an amazing journey. And we'll, we shall see if it is to be continued or not. Um, I have two movies coming out. One is coming out August 30th. It's called Let the Church Say Amen. Good faith-based content, you know, stars Natori Naughton, Hosea Sanchez, Lila Rashawn is in that thing. And it's directed by Regina King. She did her thing with this one. And the second one is called Sons to the Grave. That's dealing with kind of what's going on in our day and age, but in our community and our responsibility to ourselves. You know, if we protect us, they have no choice but to follow suit. You dig? So I'm really, really excited about those two projects. And I shot a pilot. Oh, okay. Shot a pilot with um, Essence Atkins, Vivica Fox, Tony Rock, Carl Payne, and Lamont Rocker. Now this one, this one right here is grown sexy comedy. Like I've been looking forward to doing something like this for a really long time. So as soon as we have more details on that one, you know I'm going to come right back here and let you know about it, DJ, some more. You got to do it. You got to do it. So she's not just on the music side. She's still keeping up with the with the TV and the movie side of things. I'm talking about that. That's grinding and hustling right there. Just Absolutely. So you know what I'm going to ask? I'm going to ask about this album EP. What's going on with that? Did it drop yet? Did I miss it? Is it coming? <laughs> Yo, you didn't miss anything. It was the last time I talked to you, we were talking about an EP. Yeah. Yo, signed with E1. Very excited. Yes. Signing with ICM. Very excited about that. Also signed with Sure Media. There's just been so much progress that now it has gone from an EP to a full-blown LP, which will be released at the top of the year. Um, we have another single coming out. This one people gonna really want to get into. It's 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 juicy. It's juicy. It's grown. It's juicy, um, and it'll be dropping sometime around November. But I'm I'm really excited. The LP officially yours will be out at the top of the year through E1 Music. It's gonna be everything and more that you all have been waiting for. So you ain't missed nothing. I I'm, got you. I've, I've been watching. You know, what I'm saying the the Twitter and the Instagram. I seen the when you signed a deal. So I just want to say congratulations. Congratulations. So you hear from me because I commented, but you know, it's congratulations for real. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and um, so singles, you know, trade it all. All right. I just want to say my favorite line in the song is stimulate my mind. Uh conversation. You always on my grind motivation. Like that kind of, you know, touch my heart. You just touch my spirit yes. a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That yes. song, what tell us how that song came about. You know what I'm saying? What inspired cause that song is real. Like I was, you know, saying, talk, you know, I was talking to somebody, you know, and I was, he kind of spoke to my spirit a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it ain't work out though, you know what I'm saying? It ain't work out. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Oh, well, that's that's what trade it all is about. You know what I mean? When you're really ready to give everything, be everything, and accept everything that that other person is, and just making sure that they're on the same playing field as you, that came from some real stuff. People, and I kind of have my share of drama with that Roger. Um, yeah. But that song was really constructed out of the reality of where I was in that moment. You know, if I'm really going to pass up on these other options that are coming at me on a daily, because I got them. Yeah, we, we see. 
<laughs> you know, if I'm if I'm going to take all of this shade that these chicks are selling to me, if I'm going to sit here and raise my son to watch what I'm doing as a woman, expecting a man to be in her life the way that he should be, you know, are you really going to be there with me too? We love each other. It's a beautiful relationship. There's nothing wrong with it. But can we take it to the next? That's what Trade It All is. And I'm so glad it's resonating with so many people the way it is. Definitely, definitely. Every time I hear it, I can't, I can't help but not to get in the feelings when I hear it because it's <laughs> just so real. Okay? The video, you got your Real Housewives of Atlanta homegirls up in there right there. So if y'all haven't seen it, I'm going to need y'all to check that out. Um, but real quick, you're going to be on BET's uh, Lift Every Voice this Sunday yeah. coming up. You want to tell us, you know, give us a little sneak preview of that? Oh, my goodness. I got an opportunity to sit down with BET and my boy, Fonsworth Bentley. Big shout to him because he has just been an awesome, awesome friend for a couple of years now. I love his grind. I love he and his wife's relationship. They got a beautiful, beautiful baby. Shout out to them. But I got an opportunity to just really sit down and kind of pull back the velvet rope. You know, sometimes when you're in this industry, people don't see the person behind the character they think that they know. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's gotten a chance to see what Janine was dealing with and Monica and Shonda and all these other plays. But the things that Demetria had to go through in order to present those people to you came from some real stuff. And I'm so thankful to Lift Every Voice BET for giving me the opportunity to just kind of share a bit of me with you so that, you know, you know what you're getting when you get Demetria McKinney versus the characters that you've seen me play. So all my heathens that don't go to church like me. You know, make sure y'all check out BT oh, yeah. Sunday mornings. I'm just hey. <laughs> hey. You No, know, there's a blessing in the bed too. You okay. know, you just gotta just pray and make sure you tune in. That, see, see, that's why I gotta get you online. Just kind of re reiterate that real quick. I like that right there. There's a blessing in the bed. I'm, that's my <laughs> excuse. That's my excuse. Now, for those who who lost, you know, the Google search engine is broken. Let them know how they connect with the real Demetri McKinney on Twitter, Instagram, websites, and all that good stuff. Yo, you all can connect with me on social media at Demi McKinney on Twitter, at Demetria, the number four, real, on Instagram and Facebook. The website is DemetriaMcKinney.com. And you can follow me on the E1 website. I'll soon be on ICM. My publicist, they got me. You know, so you, you can find me a couple of different places, including the Demetrians. Big shout out to all of you guys got for you. all of the love, support, and just everything you guys do to just help me be great. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so I know you come in the Tampa for the for the uh the Pepsi yeah. Fun Fest. You know, that's gonna be great. So everybody tuned in, in Tampa, make sure y'all get y'all tickets. You got Demetrius gonna be out there, SWV Joe to see. We need to get you to Miami, West Palm. Is we got West Palm Miami on any other dates coming or Hey, we can work that out real quick. You know, dates are being filled up and I'm not just touring with Pepsi Funk Fest. I'm also out with R. Kelly. So pay attention to his schedule. We might uh -oh. have some dates with that. Uh -oh. I'm also about to start doing some stuff with Miss Fantasia. So stay on tune for that. And I got some stuff coming out with Tank. So one way or another, I'm going to get down there. Y'all hear that, right? Make sure y'all hit up on that Twitter, Instagram, and that website. E1 official website. The album officially yours. She'll be back to talk about the album and the new single. So don't worry about it if you missed it. Um, Again, again, Demetri, I know you got to go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, appreciate you checking in. You want to go ahead and introduce this hot record that gets you in your feelings every time when they play it and hear it? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Demetria McKinney, chilling with my girl, DJ Samore, playing her joint, which should be yours as well. This is my current single, Trey.